it's Trisha Lee and I'm just out here on the beach waiting for the sun to come up. I just thought I'd share my sunrise here on my second day of my vacation and I just wanted to uh, share with you some more testimonial for Project AWOL and the Thailand reality experience that I went on. And to be honest with you, a lot of people at the time that I went kind of thought I was crazy a little bit, I believe, because uh, just a couple months er previous to that, I had quit my full-time job, and I think everybody was expecting me to uh, seek out another boss and another full-time job somewhere else, but instead, I had just really taken the driver's seat in my life, and Project AWOL has been such a big part of that. And so um, I went through this experience while I was there. Um, it pretty much got edited out uh, as far as I know, so um, we're kind of getting some behind the scenes info on uh, what, what kind of went down there. So I was told that they wanted me to teach something uh, to someone or to the group. So um, I had organized this plan to uh, get together the women that were at the experience and do like a special session just for them. But I was going to tell them, um, actually me and Larry were just talking about this the other day and Larry was talking about that um, a lot of my attractiveness doesn't necessarily come from my look, but, <laughs> sorry, I just noticed the camera's really blurry. I can get it better. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, um, a lot of my attractiveness, he was, he was commenting, kind of comes a lot more from my attitude than necessarily my look. And he was kind of quizzing me as to where that comes from. And, um, so we got into a big discussion about self confidence and self esteem. And, um, sorry, everybody. Uh, so, we got into this conversation about um, self-esteem and self-confidence and uh, the role that it plays and, and he, he says that he notices, and I also have, have uh, noticed this, um, women that are far younger and would be kind of considered more beautiful as far as our media's judgment of beauty. Um, Goes. Like that, that's done moving in a better direction as of late, but um, for a period there, there was like a pretty strong push towards um, a one, a single kind of image of beauty. But anyway, um, we both noticed women out there that kind of um, have that image that the media has, has pushed on us for, for a certain period of time of what beauty is, and yet they they don't um, project that beauty. And so in my own life, I know that as a teenager, as a younger woman, I'm, I'm, I guarantee you I had better looks when I was like between 15 and 18 than I do now in my, in my 30s because obviously I have less wrinkles, less gray hair, less stretch marks, all of those things that I was more to the image of beauty that is put out there. However, uh, people didn't tell me that I was beautiful when I was that age. And the reason they didn't is because I had no self-confidence and no self And so they, um, no one made that comment to me. However, now, at this point in my life, I get that a lot. And a big part of that stems from just, um, not being interested in uh, what people think. A feeling for myself that I'm just as good and no better than anybody else and knowing that people are going to judge no matter how you look or what you say or what you do, there will always be people that judge and criticize and that you can just ignore that. And so the reason that I learned this lesson in life and that I came to the conclusion that it doesn't really matter what other people think is because I was at that young, at a young age, um, between the ages of 15 and I guess 19, I was in a, uh, a 
was an alcoholic and I was in a relationship where uh, abuse was quite frequent. So I was a person that was out there in the world uh, going through life a lot, uh, frequently, I should say a lot, but frequently during that period of my life um, with fat lips and black eyes and you see people looking at you and judging you and you, you know that they're they're thinking not all of you but certain people and you just kind of have to build this thick skin where you don't care and you just have to uh, try to have some kind of dignity even though you are have this and and for all people know that like some people may have been judging the situation better than what it was and thinking that oh maybe she got in a car accident or something but no the, the reality was that I put myself in a bad situation with a, a bad person uh, as far as the relationship goes I made a bad choice but the reason that I made that choice and that I stayed in that situation was because I lacked self-esteem and self-confidence and it wasn't until I realized that I am no better but just as good as anybody else out there that everything kind of changed for me and I was able to get out of that situation and uh, realize that I, mean, I didn't deserve that, nobody deserves that kind of treatment and so I got out of that situation. So um, this was my, kind of that whole story that I gave you was kind of my idea of what, how my training was going to go for having to teach some, somebody or some of the people um, at the AWOL experience in Thailand. And so, um, so I was planning on um, saying how that can relate to your business because when you are building your empire and branding yourself on the internet, you really want to put yourself out there. You want to share your videos. You want to share your videos. You want um, to build an audience. So you have to be willing to put yourself out there. And in order to do that, a lot of times you have to not care. You have to have a a healthy disregard for other people's opinions to effectively express yourself in a way that and tell your story in a way that's authentic and that other people um, can notice you. Like if <laughs> that's the whole idea is to get noticed because if nobody knows you're there then how can you um, build an audience? So that's, that's kind of what I wanted to uh, get across in this um, training that I planned because they told me teach somebody something. And so um, I had planned this and when I talked to the director for the AWOL thing, he um, put the key wash on it and said, no, we weren't doing that. And so, uh, but anyway, um, something really powerful happened when I went out with some of the ladies to uh, uh, do sightseeing and shopping in the evening. They ran into a Thai girl that I'm trying to remember the exact words, but anyway, she was there and she was with another man, or, or with a man of some kind, and they seen that she had a black eye and um, her face was beaten up. So had I uh, actually done this training with the lady, that lady that was there, she was in the van, and on the way back, they had said, oh, to each other, because the two girls were together, and I was with Dakota, um, waiting, kind of waiting for them to get their massages, right, in the photo room, and they were getting massages, and then we met up, and we got in the van to go back to the mansion, and this lady said, oh, well, did you see that, that girl with her boyfriend, she had the black eye, and she, her face was all, all beaten up, and, and so I think for her, and for me, and for anybody that would have had that experience, if the director had a key wash it, I think it really would have been powerful. And so anyway, I'm glad to be able to share it here with you. And uh, I'm going to see if I can do something so I don't know how this is going to look for you guys, but to me it's, it's looking pretty blurry. But anyway, so um, I just think that could have been a real powerful experience. Unfortunately, it didn't happen, but I think I learned something from it because I really explored that. Um, self-confidence and self-esteem issue a little bit deeper than I had for a long time. But I stand by my word that I'm just as good as anybody else and no better 
and I just want to thank Project Daywall for making this possible and I'm going to see what I can do about adjusting the camera. They can't seem to get a clear picture of the beautiful sky this morning. So uh, thanks for watching. Click the link and make it a great day. Bye everybody.